Fox is bringing their big noon kickoff show to Orlando this week. What a what a time to head down there when you got a hurricane coming in. Um, yes, so big noon kickoff on Saturday where Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffalo are going to take on the UCF Knights. This is a 3.30 p.m. Eastern time game on Fox, and there is a 70% chance of rain, and it's supposed to be 84 degrees and just humid, right? Uh, UCF, a 14-point favorite. The graphic says 14. That thing got steamed right after we made the graphic. So it's UCF minus 16 right now. Uh, The money line plus 475. Uh, Total is 63. Still implied score here is 39 and a half to 23 and a half. Parker, I'm going to start with you. I know how much you appreciate Colorado after last week. Do your numbers match up here on this one? Uh, no, I, I, they, they, they don't at all. And I liked this a lot when we were flirting with a line of 12 and now that it's gotten so big just from a pace standpoint and the, and, you know, Colorado's ability to, to, to scheme up a big play, uh, kind of under desperation. I like this a lot less here, uh, pretty big mismatch. Colorado is second in rush rate over expected on offense. UCF is 128 in rush rate over expected on defense. So huge stylistic mismatch who can control the pace of play. I think you've got to give the advantage on the lines on both sides to UCF. I think we've seen them be physical and domineering. They are sixth on offensive EPA per play, second in the rush, sixth in EPA per drop back. Um, and, you know, last last week, I think Colorado was in a situation where they should have won by more. They had some special teams and, and margins kind of go wrong and then got lucky at the end. But uh, on the merits, I think they much outplayed Baylor. What we're looking for here is what is Colorado going to be able to do when they just cannot run the ball at all? I think UCS run defense third in the nation fifty uh, against Colorado's 57th. Uh, rushing attack on offense. Uh, if you know, if if Colorado can get absolutely nothing through the ground, and UCF's able to devote more resources to the pass defense, I think that's only going to be more frustrating. And then you know, get UCF in a positive game state, they can churn some clock, they can generate those quality possessions, and come away with points. First in quality possession rate, nineteenth in points per quality possession. Um, I think UCF's absolutely going to lean on them. Absolutely going to lean on them. Big emotional win for Colorado last week. Potential letdown spot here. Physicality goes towards UCF. Um, don't want to trust Colorado at all. Liked UCF when it opened. This number is too big. It's getting steamed. Everybody sees it. So no play for me officially, but I do like UCF uh, in this spot quite a bit. Yeah, the Buffs under Deion Sanders, they're three and three against the spread as a road dog. Uh, UCF is four and three against the spread as a home favorite since the start of last season. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Parker, on this. Uh, part of me thinks UCF is going to absolutely roll them because of two things. First, the epic letdown spot after winning with the Hail Mary at home on the last play of the game last week. And then second, I know teams can run on Colorado. However, UCF's pass defense, I've, I've got number 126 in PPA allowed per pass, number 125 pass success rate allowed, and they're number 121 and have it created. So I, I do think Colorado is going to be able to throw the ball on them, but how much is the question? Right, Kyle, I, I know this total is all the way up at 53. My projection has this thing closer to 56. It, am I crazy for looking at an over here, even if my number is, is way lower because I don't trust either defense to really be able to get stops? 63, the total. I assume you, you met 63. Is your is your number 66 or 56, Gary? No, 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 56. 56. My number's 56, 56. but I'm still okay. thinking it over, even with my model saying it should go under. Because I don't think right, either uh, team can get a can get a stop here. Yeah, this one being at sixty three, um, my number is sixty four and a half here in this one. I I there think I I wanted to bet the over, and I still might bet the over. That's definitely my strong lean in this game. Situationally favorable spot for UCF, no doubt. You guys are completely right about that. They had a buy to get ready for this game while Colorado was busy coming back in epic fashion, winning in overtime. Colorado's negative eleven in sack margin. But UCF has one sack so far this year. That's pretty shocking to me. Uh, they don't look like the team that could take advantage of Colorado's weakness on the offensive line. UCF's first in rushing play success rate um, allowed. So they're really good defensively against the run. Colorado's probably not going to run it. They throw on 61% of their offensive plays this year. And, um, you know, with UCF 114th in pass play success rate allowed, I expect uh, that to be even higher than 61% as far as the pass plays in this one. Uh, Shadura Sanders better warm up his arm before this one because I think he's going to throw it a bunch of times here. Um, Colorado definitely improved against the run, but this is by far the best rushing attack they've played so far. Both teams in the top 35 in the country in tempo. Um, KJ Jefferson had an A dot of 15.4 against TCU, so he's definitely taking shots downfield. Definitely lean to the over in this one. 
Um, just, you know, Colorado, are they going to be efficient enough on offense to get to, a, you know, mid 60s total and question marks about whether it's going to be rainy, windy. I want to wait till later in the week to see about this one. Yeah, Scott in the chat said line is now 15 and 63. And I just updated BetUS and it's 15 and 62 and a half. So it's dropped half a point. Uh, so maybe we might need to pay attention to weather on that. And I don't know. Now I'm, I'm, this one's so, so tricky. I like the UCF at minus 13. Uh, we got no locks on this. It got steamed this morning. I'm not touching it at 16 or 15, anything over two touchdowns. I'm not touching it. Uh, but I, there's a world where Colorado could make some crazy plays again. And who knows what happens at that point? Who knows? All right. I mean, it's, it's entirely possible, Gary. It's like a nine possession game and yes. UCF is absolutely dominant. And Travis Hunter does something stupid on the last play and blows a 15 point cover. Like, I don't want to exactly. test that. That's that's really what it comes down to. Is the, is the pace style there is so different that I feel like Colorado is so explosive that I, I don't want to trust it. But yeah, the variance on the the tails on the variance there is so high. Yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. I'll tell you this, it will be exciting. I, I have a good feeling about that. It's going to be exciting. 